Before we go out again, half of my inventory is already full right now. I feel like that's not very good for efficiency. Ideally, if every time we go outside, we have an empty inventory and then come back with a full inventory, that should probably be the best in terms of productivity, right? So it might actually be okay for me to make another waterproof locker right now. And then the bladder fish, I feel like this is probably... We can just make it into water right here, right now. There's no reason why I shouldn't, I don't think. Cured fish, no. I could keep it as food just in case, but not the bladder fish probably. And I can drink it right now anyway. Another locker? Four titanium isn't that much because one salvage is four titanium, right? Shouldn't be too bad. And then I'll just put it next to this one. Nope. It looks like you can change the name, but I don't really care about that right now, so whatever. Oh, no, no, no. I want to open it. Put all this in here. Everything that's not a tool, basically. Or a fish. Drink that. Cooked boomerang? Old cooked boomerang? Did it go bad? It says old. I don't even know. Yeah, it's minus for the water, what the heck? Guess I'll eat it right now. Mm. Okay, so in going out today, I do have a... I have an idea of where to go. You know Life Pod 3? Earlier when we were coming back, we saw this one deep ocean area in the cracks, so I kind of want to try to find that again if possible. If I click on this one, it'll probably turn on again. And... yeah. We'll focus on getting materials for... the oxygen tank, which is just going to be the one glass, meaning quartz. Two quartzes? Not too bad. Probably I'm not going to come back until we have a full inventory. So let's start there. Yeah, now that we know we can scan the stuff, it'll be a good idea to go back here anyway because there was a bunch of stuff I didn't scan last time. There's salvage right here. That's one locker already. Hi! Oh, there was so much just right outside my place. I didn't even realize. Yeah, this area. It looks really, really deep. But we have 75 units of oxygen. Actually don't know how long that lasts, but I guess we'll find out. What's this air coming out? Oh my god. There we go. Whoa, there's some kind of like a... Um... Is it like a volcano? Yeah, look at this! If we want materials, minerals and stuff, it seems like... Oh! Yeah, it seems like these, these caves are a good idea. Let's try this thing out. Oh! I get the feeling we shouldn't be touching that. That seems kind of scary. Oxygen. Am I going faster? I'm trying to use it. Okay, I think we have to look down. That's how it works. And then we go up faster. I think we already got the quartz we needed for the... The oxygen tank, right? Yeah, we already got it. So the rest of this is just gonna be looking around and trying to find whatever. Ooh! Oh! Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10. What? Six, five, four, three, two. Whoa!
convenience, the radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. Wait, so why? You mean like normally we have this information about a radiation suit already? But because this problem hasn't come up before, the PDA never bothered telling me about it? Is that what's happening? The suit fully protects against the effects of radiation during land, sea, and space exploration. Cross compatible with all AEP suit functionality, sleek. Radiation suit. Well, the reason why we couldn't go near the Aurora is because of the radiation, right? So if we have this, does that mean we can now go near? But the quantum detonation, I don't even know what that means. It sounds really dangerous though, but um... Thankfully, nothing happened to us or the escape pod. Did you also give me a blueprint? Radiation suit. Lead-lined suit providing insulation from radiation. Fiber, mesh, and lead. Oh, that sounds like something we should prioritize then. Fiber mesh? Fiber mesh is creep vine sample. Creep vine sample is the one that we cut the creep vine for. And then lead? Uh, I don't know if we've ever had lead before. Oh, we have lead right here. Okay, so maybe let's continue looking at this cave. Oh! Oh my god, how convenient. I was going backwards because I didn't know if that little explosion, little explosion, big explosion was going to hurt me. Like that. Ah, oh, but these are gigantic. That's so annoying. How many do we need? Two? Two for one. And then... We need two fiber mesh, which means we need two more samples. I'm pretty sure I don't have this in the um, life pod. No? We gotta be a little bit careful here too because, you know, the stalkers and all. When I want to go back and check out that cave though, we never got to the bottom. Another radio message? Well, my inventory is... Uh, it's not quite full, but probably full enough. Oh, okay. You know, for some of the items that are like, four... Oh. Wait, hold on. If we're near the Creepvine area, then where was the wreckage? The wreckage from Life Pod 3. Oh, it's a little bit further away. I do want to go back there because I want to scan the stuff. The beacon fragment. I know there was one there that I didn't scan, for sure. But anyway, I do have a full inventory, so it is time for us to go back. After we got the tank though, the normal tank, it does seem like oxygen is less of a constraint, so that's good. And you guys! I know I can get your acidic pot or something, but I don't know how yet. Do I just go pick it up? Because I was watching, yeah, the first video. I thought it expels gas, but I think it actually expels a ball. A ball that turns into a gas. It's a little bit different. Hmm. God, these things... If we don't need it immediately, I might want to throw it out just because it takes up so much space. But I'll, I'll leave it in here for now. Titanium... Okay, one glass. I needed the glass and then... Quartz. Let's go back up. What's going on here? This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. <gasps> Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Yes! I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime? Wait, they're getting our distress signal. That's good. It means our SO- Hey, this- this radio here, that means someone's gonna pick it up. Oh, my ship is the Aurora. Altera's my company. But these people don't sound like they're from Altera. At least it didn't seem that way. Wait, this thing respawns, right? So can I just eat one right now? Eat one? <laughs> Only because it's free. I came back because I can make... Glass? Oh, fiber mesh. Fiber mesh. 
And then I also needed lead. But, um... Right, I need one more lead. Well, we don't need to make another first aid kit. And if we're careful, we don't ever need to as long as we keep farming this thing, right? That'll be good. Lead. Lead. I have lead. So there's my radiation suit. Good, good. And then, uh, quartz for the tank. It doesn't say I have a standard oxygen tank. Do I need to make another one? Three titanium. Oh, well, okay, I can afford that. Two glass, four titanium. Can probably turn all this into titanium. I'm probably going to be showing more of the crafting in the beginning here, but once we get a, get a move on and figure this out, I'm going to try to show less of it. Titanium ingot. Condensed titanium bar. Is that a way to store it? Or does something actually need an ingot? Uh, glass? Wait, did I make glass already? <laughs> Might have just made an extra glass. Silver ore. So I need three titanium to make another tank. And then... High capacity oxygen tank. Great. It's beautiful. Oh! Oh! I never really looked over here! Can we just dre- Oh, okay! So maybe what I could have done is taken it off my backpack, my equipped area, and then I didn't have to make another one. Oh, dang. Oh well, I guess. 135! Units. However long that is, but wow, that's great, that's amazing. I'm kinda hungry now. Oh, that little trip made me a little bit thirsty too, yikes. The meters go down quite fast if you're not paying attention. Hmm. I don't think these fish were that good for uh, healing my hunger bar, but I guess we'll try cooking them too. But anyway, can't we also make the radiation suit now? We can. We can. Already. I'm wearing it! I'm wearing it. Good. Radiation helmet. Lead-lined radiation helmet. Radiation gloves. Oh, that's great! That means we can go to the ship! Awesome! Wow, we're suddenly making progress. It's kind of scaring me. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's been a while since we read these. Should I read a few more? I mean, I, I do want to read all of them eventually. But just when... Like habitat and vehicles. Sea glide. We can also make a sea glide. The sea glide is a personal transportation device designed for use in oceanic environments. Displays basic topographical data for aid and charting in charting cave systems. Oh, replaceable battery. Keeps fingers clear of propeller. The sea glide. Anything that moves faster underwater is probably trying to eat you. Uh, I feel like that's probably what happened to the life pod three people. We didn't even see a corpse or anything. Yeah, I didn't finish looking at that area yet. We gotta go back, but for now? I mean, since we just got the radiation suit, we should probably go check it out, right? Again? Maybe let's try to empty our inventory first as much as we can. Do some cooking. Um... Gary fish? I'm pretty sure this one didn't have a high hunger meter fulfilling thingy. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Okay, so it's like really far into the future or something, and we don't even eat like real food anymore. Hmm. Consider disguising the flavor of unsavory meats with salt or locally sourced herbs and spices. PDA, I'm trying to survive here. I'm not trying to have like a high class Michelin three star meal, okay? It's fine. Yeah, Gary Fish, only 13. It's not very good. Hoverfish, 23. The one that we... I mean, the one that was like 30. That was like a... What's that fish called? If I see it, I'll know it. 
Ah, uh, maybe I haven't scanned it yet. Actually, I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll see it again. Yeah. Okay, crash fish. This unusual species has developed an emergency defense mechanism based on mutually assured destruction. <laughs> Forward mounted eye. Allows them to track and identify predators. Sulfur plant. Has evolved to feed on sulfuric compounds secreted by the crash fish. The sulfur comes from the fish, not the plant. Mm, which makes its nest within its leaves. Stronger, more protective plants provide superior nesting grounds, which in turn provide the plant with more nutrients from larger crash fish. Okay, defense mechanism. Concentrations of sulfur build up in the fish, and if it collides with people with sufficient speed, or you know, non-people, other fish, it will explode. Equip stasis rifle, repulsion cannon, or similar before approaching shallow caves. Stasis rifle, repulsion cannon, we don't have any of these things, but I feel like maybe a way to avoid it is to... You know how when you see it coming towards you, it's very natural for you to want to like, go away, but going towards it and then swerving to the side as it's coming to you? Because I think I did that last time and I was able to avoid it accidentally. We'll have to try it again. Anyway, let's just... Um, hmm. Every time I go out, I do want to make sure that we can... We're focusing on making one thing at the minimum when, by the time we come back. Rebreather. Conserves oxygen when diving deeper. Recycles CO2 into breathable air. Wiring kit, fiber mesh. Wiring kit. Silver ore. Yeah, a lot of these electronic things... Basically need us to... Go into caves. Minerals, ores... Hey, speaking of batteries, how's my... how's my flashlight doing in my scanner? Should I have a battery on me at all times, just in case? Look, the flashlight! 43%. And I can't really charge it here, even though we have the power cells. Okay. Yeah, I'll grab two acidic mushrooms outside, really quickly. Right now. Oh! Jeez, it's nighttime already! You know, the brain coral is right here. I, I don't think I actually need to store it in my locker because it takes up so much space. It's literally right in front of me. Hey! Hey! Acidic mushrooms. Jeez, the time changes so fast. Is that the moon? Oh my god. There's two planet thingies. I don't actually know if they're like both moons or is one another planet or what. Electronics. Battery. So I'll have one battery on me. And then what I'll do is probably just... Put my stuff into the locker. The tank? 30 seconds of oxygen. If I run out, can I switch in the middle of my journey? Maybe. Maybe I'll keep that one on me. But these ones... Because I don't have a fabricator anyway, so there's no point in me holding on to it. Just like that. Oh, it's a little more dead looking than before now, the Aurora. It's harder to see at night, but I'm sure we'll be okay. I still gotta go back to the other side sometime, but I want to see what's at the... The ship. Oh! What was that? Yeah, calm down, buddy. Calm down. I'm just passing by. Oh, there's actually so much salvage everywhere. What the heck? My inventory is like full already. We gotta be careful. We should probably stay above the water if we want to see where we're going, though. Oh, this thingy? I gotta... Uh... Well, by the time we get over there, it might be daytime anyway. I wish we could scrap this entire thing for salvage. Oh my gosh, we'd be able to build a freaking mansion. Not even a mansion, but like... I don't know, something big. Damn. 
table coral. Oh, I can probably cut it out, right? Oh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh, I'll have one. I'm pretty sure one of the... something needed table coral. Peeper! Peeper is the one that gives a lot of food value, I think. Okay, we're getting near. I don't think we've ever been this near. Great that it's getting daytime, too, because that'll be better for, you know, actually seeing where we're going. <laughs> is it still gonna tell me there's a radiation warning? Doesn't seem like it. Do you think we can actually, like, go on the land or something? Oh. Uh, I'm actually gonna leave the salvage here for now, because I feel like we might see more important things. Oh! Power cell. Okay. That's like a big battery or something. No, we don't have to worry so much about our oxygen anymore. That's great. Ah, uh, I don't have... Hmm... No, salvage is coming by pretty easily now. I'm gonna leave it on the ocean floor for now. Let's see. Yeah, there's no warning at all. We just walk straight up to it. Mm, the water's so murky here, probably because of all the pollution. Um. Can I get in the ship? Oh, what was that? Form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Dude, I don't. Ah! What the fuck? What the? I gotta go home, I gotta go home, I gotta go home. Oh, you know what? I did a very, very stupid thing here. I didn't come out with a med kit. I hope you can understand why I don't have the energy to talk right now. <laughs> oh, 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 stalkers. You look like such a friendly little puppy compared to whatever that was. Oh yeah, the other salvage site. There's something else here. Um, I'm really, really, really hurt right now. That guy basically chomped on me one time. What was that? I wish I got to scan it, but holy... <sighs> I don't know what that was. I don't know, it was big and I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Did the flare help? I don't know. I just remembered using the flare. Means some predators can get distracted. Yay, I can make a desk. Oh, there's another radio thing. I'm so shaken up right now. I don't know what to say. Help me. I want to go home. I want to go back to my star system. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> At least I can actually look around. Oh, grav trap fragment. You know, I probably shouldn't be looking around because I got to make sure I go back and heal. But you know what? Let's make the best of our trip, you know? We still have some salvage around here we can collect. Thank you, Stalker. The Stalker's okay. I mean, it's not... It looks frightening. 
But it might get angry with me if I steal all the scrap in the area. <laughs> uh, as far as I can see... Oh. This looks like something. No. No, I guess not. Um. Okay, so I think we have multiple problems in trying to figure out how to get to the ship then. The waters around the area are super murky. Which means we have really, really poor visibility and then... I mean, in that situation, even if we had great visibility, I don't know... Like, what do I do? Because I don't have anything to defend myself with. That's uh, a... it's a coffee... Ah! What? I'm going home. I'm going home. Wait, was that just like a gasopod or what? I didn't see it. No, it must have been a crash fish somewhere, right? It sounded like one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's get some food. Oh. I didn't scan you yet, did I? Wait, did I? It's not letting me do it. Uh, let's go home. Let's go home. Oh, sweet home. Home sweet home. Or is it sweet? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. I have a lot of salvage, but I don't know... What was I even trying to do when I was coming back here? I lost my entire train of thought. I don't... <laughs> Yay, I can make a desk. I can make a desk. I know there was a graph trap back in the life pod 3 wreckage area. I didn't scan it. There was also a beacon there. So maybe instead of going to the the ship, maybe I should go back in that area. I don't... <laughs> uh, uh. And even the little um the cave area, the deep water cave area with the volcano thingy, I didn't finish looking there either. Lots to look at. But there's another radio here, right? Message. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. It sounds like this planet is pretty small and unknown then. Like somebody might have to look up Wikipedia or some encyclopedic entry to find it. But normally no one even knows what this is and that's why its name is so freaking obscure. <sighs> yeah, okay, note to self. Note to self, we've been okay up until now. But if we go to an unknown place, probably best to bring a medical kit with me. How long does it take for it to want to come back? Not too long, it's already 3%. Ooh, I'm just gonna just, uh, do what I know best. Make some salvage in the titanium. <laughs> that thing was so big, we probably could have scanned it. But we need to get close to scan it though. That was the one thing too. I don't... Man. What about stuff like home building? <sighs> my, my heart is still pounding right now. <laughs> Food? Food? Do I have a bladder fish? Uh, Peeper! Peeper is the one that gives a lot of... hunger bar. Yeah, plus 32. I remember you. Protein-rich eyeballs. Ew. <laughs> 32? Uh, we can wait a little bit, but the fish... I mean, um, water. We might want water soon. Let's read about peepers. Or have we even... I don't think we scanned it. Earlier there was a little icon, but I couldn't scan it for some reason. Okay. Okay, we'll read about the rabbit ray. A herbivorous aquatic life form, rabbit rays appear to live serene and solitary lives, with few predators, a natural sense of curiosity, and awesomely poisonous flesh. Poisonous flesh! Okay, don't eat it. It's got big ears that I guess gave its name. These big orange things. 
They sense vibration in the water, undulating wings, markedly similar method of transportation to that of Earth rays. Zero genetic resemblance detected, suggesting that these two species independently develop these solutions to their environmental circumstances. Its large side-facing eyes are recently developed. It's likely that there are other related species in the other biomes in the planet. Not edible, but harmless. Okay, well, it's nice to get a, a concrete note that it's not harmful. That's good. Oh. I'm going to try to catch up on these entries from time to time, and then maybe... <laughs> I don't know, man. When we're seeing danger, I don't really feel like reading. So if we're chilling out in the water, I'll read a little bit, bit by bit. We'll get to all of it eventually. Now we have a lot of titanium. Uh, what was I trying to make again? I completely forgot. <laughs> um, how about the home thing? Or a sea glide? Lubricant? Copper wire? Converts torque into thrust underwater via propeller. Hey, we could we can make this. Lubricant? Lubricant is from the creepy vine thingy. But is that what we really need, though? I also lost a flare, so I feel like maybe I should... Mm. Should I make one? But I don't even know if it helps, though. That's the thing, because I used it earlier, but I don't even know if it did anything. <laughs> it didn't feel like it was chasing after it. It just kind of gave up on me after biting into me once. Yeah, now I don't feel so good going outside without a med kit. Maybe we should wait a little bit first, just chill out around here for a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, it's right here, creep vines. Uh, lubricant? Copper wire? We have lubricant already, don't we? In the box? Doesn't matter. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Power plants? Are you making a freaking... Are you really making a mansion down here? <laughs> hey, we, ha we have to live within our means, okay? Rebreather. We can make a floating air pump. We don't have anything that needs an air pump, right? Nor the pipes. We can make some first aid kits? Uh, I'll think about it, though. I'll think about it. Ooh, I'm just- I'm still reeling a little bit right now. I don't know how to- I already forgot what I'm doing. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm so scared right now! Oh, copper wire, that's right. Copper wire. Copper wire- do I need more than one? To make a copper wire? Oh, I do. I do. I'm pretty sure I had more copper- You know what? I might have to look into the mods again, because I think- uh, there was a- somebody recommended a mod to me that makes it so that when you craft, it makes it so that any locker in the vicinity is automatically chosen for crafting stuff. But I'll look into that later. No copper ore here. No copper ore here. Okay, well... Ah, <sighs> should I make another locker? Seems like such a waste, but I really have nowhere to put anything. I think I might need to. I'll put some of it here. Oh, the battery I might want to keep on me. The power cell? Okay, what I'm wondering about is if I... Do I need to wait until this is like done to make the maximum use of it? Or can I use like one battery on two different things? No, let's probably wait until this is done. Yeah, the scanner is okay, but I'll, I'll do that. And then... The rest of this stuff... Mm. I'll make another locker. It's such a waste. We know it's a waste, but right now... I just don't have the means to make anything else. But maybe at the minimum, we should keep in mind what it costs to make a... What is it? A habitat builder? Yeah, let's go back and... I keep changing my plans every three seconds, basically. Computer chip? Wiring kit. Wiring kit? Needs silver ore. Computer chip needs table. Hey, table coral sample! I know how to get that. Gold, copper wire. Overall, just sounds like we need to go explore some caves. Yeah, okay. Go back to the area before, near Life Pod 3, 
And then we can try to scan these things. I'm pretty sure they're still around in the area somewhere. I've seen them. That area I feel okay about. I don't think there's scary things in there. Especially when the water's not as murky. Then it's not that scary. Or so I think anyway. If I go deep inside that weird steamy cave though... No guarantees what's gonna go on there. Uh, okay. That's the best I can do. Woo! Man. We want table coral. Table coral? That is table coral. Do I want more acidic mushrooms? Probably not right now. I know we're going out without full health, but this area I feel okay-ish about. See, there's a little steamy cave. Oh, uh, we can try going down again. Oh! Gold? And so these things, they can have other stuff in it too. I thought breaking limestone gives you limestone. Ha! Oh. Huh. oh! Oh, it's like too hot! Ooh, ooh, ooh! 69? Okay, I'm not getting burnt that badly. It's okay, it's not a fish attacking me. It's just getting a little bit hot in here, that's all. Hi, Rabbit Ray! No. Does it just happen periodically, or... What am I getting hit by? Probably want to go back up soon. 30 seconds. How do I use this properly? I don't... Oh! Mmm, mmm, you're right. You're right. I don't think I have a bladder fish on me. And even if I do, that's another thing we gotta make sure of too. Every time we take a trip, we have to make sure that we're well fed and we're doing okay. But I think I didn't drink water this time because I didn't see a bladder fish anywhere. Can we find one here? Oh, we don't have a mobile fabricator, so we really gotta make sure we're doing okay before we even set out. Ladder fish. Ladder fish. Do I even know what a bladder fish looks like? I will when I see one. Mm. Ah, my trip got cut pretty short. I can eat these fish live. No, actually I can't. It's minus three. Minus seven! No! Oh! Old cooked peeper. But did it go bad or what? Old. It's old. Yeah, the peeper, isn't it usually plus 30 for the... <gasps> I left it too long. I cooked it and I left it for too long. Yeah, food does go bad. We gotta be careful about that part too. Bladder fish! I need bladder fish! <laughs> Look! Girl just wants to go out and explore, okay? You gotta work with me here. Are these bladder fish? Yes! Did I- did I scan you already? All of you! Boomerangs I feel like are not that great food. It's mainly peepers for food and bladder fish for water. Okay, let's try to take advantage of the daytime here. It's two. And then we'll cook one thing too. Cook a peeper. Yeah, when we cook it, it's called cook peeper. That's probably why we'd want to do the cured food. But yeah, whatever. Forget about it for now. Vital signs stabilizing. Ah, uh, let me go out and collect a few more bladderfish first. If we need this much water, 
It might be a good idea to look into the disinfected water sometime soon. We need bleach for that. But I think the issue, or uh, the advantages of having disinfected water is more of a space issue though, because these take the same amount of space, but this one has a higher capacity. Capacity is not an issue for me right now because I just want to get water. I'm just thirsty, that's all. Yeah, um, this is probably gonna go bad soon. I'll wait a little bit more. We cool? Okay, let's go out for real this time. How's my inventory looking? It's full again. <laughs> it's full again. Dude, this is so... Oh, this is... This system is gonna... Yeah, oh my god, I don't have space for any of this stuff. What about my... Box back here? It's gonna keep forcing me to make little boxes until I can make like a bigger home. And you know, actually do something productive with that. Mm, I don't like this, cause... Uh. You know what I'll do? I'm going to... Okay, right here. If I drop it here, it'll still be here, right? So I'll just drop the metal salvage right outside my escape pod. Is that okay? And then I'm gonna go back over on this side. The steamy cave? Maybe we'll leave... Uh, I don't know how to get... Like, were we getting damage from the heat because of getting too deep? Or is it because of touching the steam? Because touching the steam at the top seemed okay. It wasn't really hurting me. Maybe we'll have to investigate some more. Hey! Yeah, these like... Oh! Oh! Yeah, we got a little bit hurt again. Oh, but it came back. A little bit came back. I wanted to see if it's possible to grab it. I didn't confirm it, but it might have been. I'm not sure. Salt. It's pretty dark here. Ah, where was that wreckage with a grav trap and the beacon and stuff? If we can find that. It's so dark. Okay, I'm not gonna pick up salvage, okay? Because I don't think we need, um... I don't think we have a shortage of... Oh. Oh, I thought my... <laughs> I turned off the flashlight and I got scared. <laughs> we don't have a shortage of titanium. If we need it, we can always pick it up right away, but for the moment, we're okay. Yeah, I keep accidentally turning off my flashlight. The other ores, though, feels like that's something we always need. Uh, there might be stalkers down here. We might want to be a bit careful. No, no, I want to scan you. Ah. Uh. Okay. Hoverfish, a small cautious herbivore commonly found in the kelp-rich environments. Charged foot pads. Six unique limb appendages feature charged pads capable of ionizing the surrounding water. The hoverfish uses this ability to maintain its position against the current as it feeds from kelp and lichen. Assessment, edible. Good to know, but I don't think it's the best edible thing. As far as I can tell, the peepers are still better. Oh, there's so many little fish here. I don't like the creep vines. They really mess with visibility. I mean, it's not as bad as the murky waters next to the aurora, but, you know, still pretty bad. Where am I? Dude, what the hell? I'm like not even... I'm not even in the same area anymore. Hold on. Oh, I'm out of battery for my flashlight. But it's getting daytime now. Good. Oh, there's so many things to manage. Gotta be careful of my oxygen too. So life pod 3 was here. I'm pretty sure the wreckage we saw was in between my life pod and the broken one. 
So we might have gone past a little bit if we're trying to find the graph trap and whatever to scan. Did we miss anything here last time? We were kind of here in a hurry. I didn't look around that well. Wait, what? Oh, exchange power source. I have another battery. Great. Okay, so there's a way for me to quickly exchange it. Ah! Dang it. Wait, so was there more PDA stuff that I didn't get last time? Did it just give me some new ones? I have no clue. Okay. Here we go. Sea Glide Fragment. Oh, but we already completed the Sea Glide. The blueprint. So we just get materials for that? Okay. So there's my life pod. In between here and my life pod, last time the stalker chased me away. And I started swimming back this way. Uh, no, that's a patch of acidic mushrooms. Yeah, there's some salvage here, so we're definitely sort of in the right area. Sort of. I feel like I'm just kind of aimlessly meandering. Which is, frankly, from like a video making point of view, it's a bit stressful because you always want something to be happening in the video and all that. But you know, we don't always have to be chased around by sharks 24-7. Wait, what? Integrating new PDA data. Oh, that that stalker has green spots on it. What's happening to it? And it didn't even care about me. Titanium. Are you okay? I'm I'm really sorry. Do you mind if I yeah, I feel like uh, if we go up fast enough, we might be able to collect the pods. But I kind of gotta aggress you on purpose, though. I kind of don't like... Oh, look at that! See? I had to make him angry on purpose, though. I kind of don't like that. That's a bit mean of me. Advanced theories. Specimen with symptoms of infection. This organism is displaying bacterial infection. Bright green blisters forming networks around the infection sites. Pathology suggests a waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin and respiratory system. Underlying indications of genetic mutation and aggressive behavior. Aggressive behavior? Mm, seems okay so far. The bacterium itself is unlike any so far recorded in human exploration. May be contagious. Avoid. Do not eat the fish. <laughs> you don't gotta tell me twice. I don't think I can eat the stalker anyway. I'm not... I'm not that great. I, <laughs> I can't kill the stalker! Oh, the oceans are so hard to chart. Like, I don't think... Once we see something, and then we don't immediately act upon it, Sometimes it might be a bit difficult for me to, um, find it again. Oh god, another one. Yeah, they're cool, they're cool, it's fine. Mesmer! Whoa, whoa! Um, um! Whoa, I couldn't... What was my PDA saying? I didn't hear it. It said something, but it's not recorded in my log. Mesmer. It was mesmerizing me. <gasps> Small carnivorous life form with a unique hunting mechanism that enables it to hypnotize its foes. Oh. It uses its wings, which can be angled up and forwards on approaching its prey. 
Tiny lenses on the surface can be tilted independently to create mesmerizing patterns, which flood the victim's brain with enticing messages, interpreted in whatever form is most convincing by the target. Outer Shell The mesmer can open the jaw-like recess in its protective outer shell in order to Error 463, it's beauty. Do not resist. Assessment, draw closer. <laughs> well, thankfully, it's a small fish, so it seemed like it was okay. I, I, I mean, it was kind of scary, but not too scary. But I don't know what to do about it, though. I didn't have any control. It was making me walk over. And I couldn't stop myself until it hurt me. Wait, I'm kind of wandering around aimlessly now. What am I doing? Ah, I'm full again. Did I get enough stuff? Oh, I might have. Computer chip? Wiring kit? Maybe we can make a habitat builder now. Oh, yeah, we can, we can! Let's go home! Let's go! Okay, habitat builder, first of all. This one, we should probably be- oh. Ooh, so earlier the Mesmer took like 20 health from me. That's not good. Okay, computer chip, wiring kit, copper wire. Copper wire. Computer chip. Advanced wiring kit. Hold on, should I make an advanced one instead of a normal one? CPU in advanced construction. Well, we need to make a normal one anyway. Wiring kit. And then habitat builder. Do we have it? Habitat- oh, it's in tools. Yeah! Habitat builder. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. I kind of feel like a dentist. <laughs> so how do I use this then? Do I go outside and point at a random plot of land and... and then I start building or how does this work? We will figure it out next time!